Yeah, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Got the 42, got 8S in it. We're going to be testing out the RC boat bits, trim tabs. All right, I got basically like one degree down angle on both of them. I'm actually running my batteries back in the, in the back two straps, okay? I got a GPS in it. We'll kind of get a speed. Got the UL19 prop on it. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see how the boat handles with trim tabs. I've never run a catamaran with trim tabs before, so it should be interesting. So yeah, we'll have like limited telemetry with this boat right here today because we don't have Spectrum Smart Packs in it, so we won't have battery voltage, milliamps consumed, etc. But we'll have RPM, you know, uh, yeah, you'll have RPM, motor, motor amps drawn. All right, let's see how it does. You got a crosswind. Oh, wow. That was a full trigger pull with the crosswind. The crosswind's coming through the pond. Nice. So we'll be able to fine tune these things and get this thing dialed in, do some real speed runs. Oh yeah! Into the wind, nice. Oh, I need to turn my steering down. Full trigger, full trigger, full trigger. All right, let's do one into the wind. Man, it's really holding this thing down, man. Wow, those trim tabs are good. Let me turn my throttle up here. All right, I got my throttle turned up to 150. Yeah, it didn't need much, it didn't need much. Might need to go down a little bit or up a little bit with them, just a hair. You can tell a big difference. Big difference in the way she's running. Wow, definitely holding them down. Uh, with a catamaran, I like to freaking run, I like to you know, tune my catamarans with weight and stinger adjustments. Catamarans don't necessarily need trim tabs, okay? Uh, I mean, trim tabs will help any catamaran, it really will. But catamarans are tuned with, with weight distribution strut adjustments. Uh, you know, that's the way they're tuned. Uh, that's the way they've always been tuned. Like for my for my Blackjack 24, I would never put trim tabs on that boat. Never. Man, she's handling good. Let's see if we get temperature readings without the Spectrum Smart Packs. I know this video is all over the place, you guys. I'm just out here having some fun, man. I ain't trying to impress nobody. We get temperature readings here. Yep. Yep, we sure do. I just binded this remote up with this boat. It's the first time I've had it out. So uh, just kind of feeling the boat out, going through some settings and stuff. Man, she's holding down. Those are some big trim tabs too, man. They're huge. They're freaking huge on this boat. <laughs> this boat wants to wants to ass in and wants to sling out because I've upgraded the. I've uh, I've done some work to the to the rudder, 
I upgraded the strut on this boat. So if you guys are wondering why the boat's wanting to whip out, I've upgraded the strut and my rudder. Uh, I basically moved it back on the boat. See that big block right there? I moved everything back. What is that? Maybe a half inch. So she actually wants to like whip the ass end out with the rudder kicked back like that. I've had this boat up to 73 miles an hour without trim tabs on it. With this same prop, this U19 prop, 73. My best speed. I can't get no speeds in this pond. It's too small for this big boat. That's why you guys don't see this boat much anymore. Uh, really ain't got nowhere where to run it. All right, let's get us one more pass in here before we have to call it a day. Man, man, she freaking flies. I would have flipped this boat over two or three times right now uh, without those trim tabs, which I don't mind it. This boat's tough, man. This boat's tough, and it's really a fun boat to run. It really is. Trim tabs are not flipping or not flipping. This boat's, it's a blast to run. It really is. Uh, I mean, that's thats what really adds to the damn fun factor, you know, when you're running the boat and it flips over like that. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. And, and if this boat's freaking tough, man. It's been through hell. Oh, good. No water in the boat. Good deal. All right. So, 62. 62 miles an hour. And I really didn't open it up. So yeah, yeah, I just checked my batteries there. Um, they're at, what, three six per, per cell. So we're gonna call it a day with this guy here. I know my video was all over the place. I just wanted to come out and run the boat, try out the RC Boat Bits trim tabs. Uh, we'll start kinda, we'll tune it in, in later videos. Um, 62 in this little pie, man, that's pretty, that's pretty good. And I, and I re wasn't really even trying. I was just kind of running the boat, man. No flips, no flips at all. So. You know, as much as I hate to say it, the RC Boat Bits Catamaran Trim Tabs is, uh, it might be the way to go with this big blackjack, you know? Um, I like tuning my boats with, with weight distribution, okay? I, I don't like adding weight in my boat. I've had this boat up to 73 miles an hour with weight distribution and blueprinting, okay? I blueprinted the sponsons here. Um, I've actually hit I've ran this boat into the ground a couple times, so my blueprint is a little off now, I would say. Um, so the, the trim tabs is a freaking, oh man, they, they were a blessing. Mark's Boat Works, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for donating the trim tabs to the channel. I really do. I appreciate it, man. Uh, you guys will start seeing more videos with the 42. Uh, I got trim tabs. We ain't got to worry about it blowing over, so we'll find us a nice big area to run the boat and uh see what she can do okay so thanks for watching big b with ironclad rc channel where we tinker test and tune everything rc we'll see you guys next time